Right, just the last bit of a small video. St Peter and St Paul Church of Overstowy. I think I did a little bit of a video at the start when I was wandering around the village a little bit. Um, here's the back of the church, a little bit of the back there. It's got a nice weather vane on the top and a massive great big tree in the back garden. Huge pine thing there. All these cones. So I met a gentleman who came in, he knows some. Um, he was talking about a bloke called William Holland who wrote a lot of history about the the village, over Stowey village and things like that in the eight I think it was the eighteen hundreds or something. And uh he said it's, it tells you a lot about the history of the place. So I've just done a little tiny video. I'm just doing a little tiny video. I've walked around, I've been inside. Um, a couple of gravestones propped up like you get sometimes because all this is tidied. Easy to mow and all that, you see. So this is one of the sort of tidier churches, if you like. Very dark inside. I couldn't find the lights and I wasn't going to bother putting them on. But it was quite dark inside. Um, now who's this here? Body of Hugh. Is it Furnicum? Who was buried February 28th, 1718. That's got a lot of squiggles on it. Looks like a skull there. Some teeth. And bones. Yeah, the skull and crossbones on there. It's a bit faded now. I'll take a picture of that in a minute. Didn't see it a minute ago. And then you've got all these... These little footstones. That's what these are, footstones. Of course, this is a not a very good year, time of year, actually, for doing graveyards, because it's becoming the wasp season. Now the Blakes of Bridgewater, I think some of them are buried inside the church, or one is anyway. They have tied up with this village, the Blake family. See there's just a few there put under the church. And look at this funny puffball um, Puffball mushrooms up. Puffball mushrooms there. And then you get a different variety there, look. Sarah Ann Rich of Overstowy. She was 52 when she died. Looks like 1882 when she died. Rich is quite a West Country name actually, Rich. George Edmund Lansdowne, JP. Born 1853, died 1930. And Elsie Emma Lansdowne, born 1875, died 1943. I'm just really, I'm just putting a few th bits, bits and pieces together on the video. Which is lasting quite well now, it's got a better lead. Some more lands down there. And then we've got this, what's this to do with? Um, Something to do with Africa. <clears throat> Maybe it was to do with the Boer War or something. There's the vicarage across the road. There's a nice picture of the church there. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of th the first video. There's great wood over there, by the way. Yeah, the first video I just really did a bit in the road and then Kate went straight in. It's a good job I did actually because somebody did pop in. I mean, they always say they've just come to have a look, but 
basically come to make sure you're not nicking anything. That's what they do. I don't mind putting that online because it's true. People's nick stuff out of churches. Well, you don't leave any money at all. Use for the millennium. This shoe was presented by the Conservation Foundations to celebrate the third Christian millennium. That's another one then. That's supposed to be a U. Yeah. So. Little cottages. Well, at least I've done a couple of churches over this way now. I managed to do three, which is good. James Hunt there. William Chidgy. Another James Hunt. Must be a common name in the village. I'm going up that way in a minute. I don't know where it's going to take me, but I'm not looking for West Barbara today. But I want to come over here again. There we go. Look, there's the... Down in, into the vaults of the church there. Quite often they have the boiler room in, the, in the, under the church these days. And look at that massive big tree. Like a big Canadian pine, isn't it? There's some sort of church hall, or that could be the village hall next to the church, actually. Um, where they've got a few benches outside where people can probably come and have a cup of tea and sit outside. Nothing's open today, though. Nothing's open today. Two glasses left on the table. But I expect that's what that is. There's a Mary Palmer who died December... 1876, just a bit of her stone left. There'd be a lot of people under the ground. And, um... Right, we're back to... Who are we back to? We're back to, um... Hugh. Hugh Fernicum. Or Fernicum. Who died in 1718. A long time ago. 300 years ago, because it's 177, it's not, it's 2017 now, so 300 years ago, this, this chap was buried in this churchyard, 300 years ago, and he's got, still got quite an ornate, I mean, look at that face on there, look, you can see the nose and the eyes and the, no, and the lips, this was highly decorated, and it would have been quite lush when it was, um, First done, I say with the skull and the crossbones down there. Right, I'm going to take a picture of it. So, just one more picture of the church. Over and out. <laughs>